the ball toss, the most difficult yet important component of the serve. During this next video analysis, I'm going to show you how most top professionals make the exact same moves when tossing the ball. The first two models I'm going to use during this analysis are going to be Roger Federer here on the left and Andy Murray on the right. They were actually playing each other that night in London during the final eight uh, tournament with Roger squeaking out a tough match. Now, the serve is like a fingerprint. Everyone is different. But I'm going to show you how most pros make the exact same move, as I call them, the exact same common threads in order to toss the ball consistently time and time again in the same spot. Now, the first focus of this lesson will be where is their tossing arm in relationship to the baseline. So obviously these two guys are right-handed, so it's going to be the left hand. I want you to notice right now where the left arm, left hand is in relationship to the baseline. Well, it is parallel to the baseline. Now, not all pros do this, but most pros do it. Now, I'm going to show you right now a few, how other pros make the exact same move in order to get the ball parallel to the baseline. Now, I'm going to show you two guys that have kind of a similar motion, Gail Monfils and Andy Roddick. And you will see right here our Andy's right left arm right here is tossing arm and Gail Monfils tossing arm right there is parallel to the baseline. Now there's a myth out there that if you're struggling with your toss that you will try to keep your left hand, your tossing arm right out in front of your left hip, left pocket and once again that is a myth because I'm going to show you how most of these guys do right here. Let's go with Leighton Hewitt, you can see definitely how his arm is parallel to the baseline and a great angle right here with Tommy Haas, a former number two player in the world right there. That left hand is completely parallel to the baseline. So um, let's see, go to Mr. one of my favorite players on the tour, Murat Safin right there. You can definitely see the arm come up right there. One of the biggest serves in the game of tennis right there for the last six years, Ivo Karlovic. Even though the angle is not the greatest, but you can definitely tell how the uh, arm is parallel to the baseline. So <clears throat> how do these guys get that, that toss uh, parallel to the baseline, but yet keep tossing the ball in the exact uh, same spot? over and over again. So let's revisit that first move right there. Now what I want you to notice is that Roger and Andy right there will, they all start sideways. Everybody starts, you know, perpendicular to the net, but they will start their upper body coil and toss at the same time. So what they're going to do, they're going to blend that upper body coil. They're going to coil away from the net right there and blend that toss. So as they're turning their body even more, so they're going to end up with their backs almost to the net. And I'm going to show you a better view right here. We're going to see uh, Roger from the back. And I'll get you Andy from the back as well right there. You will see how they, they rock back. And as they begin the upper body coil, the toss goes up. So that's why the ball toss is going to end up a great view right here of Andy's arm and where the baseline is. And same thing for Roger. So the secret here is to try to blend your toss and your upper body coil into one motion. And that will help you deliver, deliver the ball in a more consistent, consistent spot. Um, let's see now. Let's go back to uh, their, the original uh, photos right there. And I'm going to show you how they get that ball toss. I just talked about they get to blend their upper body coil and ball toss into one motion. But now this is the second move that, once again, not all pros do, but most pros do. And what I want you to focus on right now is how far back the left hand, the left arm is going back as they're rocking backwards. Watch this. The left hand is almost between their legs inside the left leg right there. Now, the main reason why they do this is that's going to help you create a little momentum so you, you don't just jerk the ball straight up. You gradually bring your arm back, pick up a little momentum, go up along parallel to the baseline, and deliver the ball. Now, they're not the only two guys that do that. I'm going to show you here, Marty and Ivo Karlovic. Actually, it's the same thing. They were playing each other in the semifinals in their way last year. Now, watch how far back Marty's tossing arm comes back while he's rocking back. Same thing here with um, 
Dr. Evil here, Evil Karlovic, watch where that, how far back his left hand went back. And just as Andy did and, Mar and uh, Roger did, the arm now goes parallel to the baseline right there. Um, let's go to a couple more guys. I'm going to show you Leighton Hewitt and one of my favorite players, um, Joe Wilford Sanga, when he's not hurt. And I will show you here the two moves. We're going to see the tossing arm disappear right there, almost right between the legs right there. Now, this is not the greatest uh, spot for um, uh, the greatest angle for uh, Lane Hewitt right there, but we'll definitely see how the arm right now is literally parallel to the baseline right there. And same thing with uh, Joe Wilford, Joe Wilford Sanga. Um, let's go to uh, Tommy Haas and um, Mr. Lubacic right there, two big servers. Now with Tommy, it's going to be a great angle for both. We're really going to see how the tossing arm disappears right there, right between his legs right there, and how the ball toss comes up. And same thing with Luby. Now, Luby may not bring the ball back inside his left hand. It's not a greatest angle, but if you're on the side, you can see that his left hand is definitely almost inside his left leg. And you can see here a good angle how the arm is, is, is parallel to the baseline. Now, let's go back to our first two models since they're really the best, uh, the best two angles, which was Roger Federer and um, Andy Murray. Now, after the ball toss is leave, after the ball leaves their hand right there, the arm continues and goes up, continues parallel to the baseline. You don't need to throw your hand out in front. You're going to toss the ball. If you're right-handed, you want to toss the ball around, you know, 12 to 1 o'clock right there. So you can toss the ball into the court even though you, you're releasing the ball parallel to the baseline. It takes a little practice. But you will see how these two moves right there, after you toss the, after you release the ball, let your hand continue right there. And that's what I try to teach a lot of my students is if you go all the way back inside your left leg right there, you're really not throwing the ball up. You just look, watch how Roger, after he releases the ball, the hand continues upward right there. It continues and continues. So that's going to help you deliver the ball nice and smooth. So you follow through on your toss. Don't just stop your hand right there. Follow through. The hand will continue parallel to the baseline. And then when you've reached all the way up, now your arm is straight up exactly where you want to be. So these are the two moves that, like I said before, not all pros do, but most big servers in the game do to bring the left hand on the inside and to toss the ball parallel to the baseline. As you just seen, it is these two moves that you must replicate in order to develop a consistent toss.